Hey guys, let's take a look at these extraordinary stone arches in Warangal Fort. There are four gigantic stone entrances which stand along the four directions and they are each 33 feet tall. These arches are the most mysterious ancient structures in India and hold many, many secrets. All archaeologists and historians claim that these four structures are entrances, but this does not make any sense at all. If these are entrances, why do we not see any walls attached to them? Why are all these arches standing separately without anything nearby? Some of these arches are placed on top of stone structures which are nearly five feet tall. Clearly, it would be impossible for people to climb onto these high bases and then use them as entrances. But there is one thing that has baffled both experts and visitors. Why did they make these arches incredibly tall? What is the need to have 33 feet tall structures. Just compare my size with the arch and you can see how big these structures really are. Some experts have claimed that ancient people used elephants and therefore tall entrances would be necessary. An Asian elephant is only 9 feet tall. So why did they make the entrances three and a half times taller? Who built these entrances anyway? This is the biggest mystery of Warangal Fort. Nobody knows who created these structures. This site is full of incredible stone structures and I've already shown you the perfect machined lingam in a different video. Both historians and archaeologists have clearly stated that there is no evidence of who actually built these structures. They agree that the Warangal Fort was merely renovated about 800 years ago, which clearly means that these structures already existed before that time. However, experts have no answers as to who originally built these structures. Residents of this town tell a very different story about the builders. According to them, these structures were built thousands of years ago by giants who stood much taller than us. They point out to something very interesting. It would be impossible for human beings to create these massive arches. Each of this arch weighs more than 125 tons and is made of several huge blocks of stone. For example, this block in the center would weigh at least 15 tons. How was it lifted to a height of 30 feet and placed on top? Experts don't have an answer to this question, but perhaps the real answer is in the arch itself. There are carvings which show giants lifting up these blocks and placing them on top. Is this a coincidence or is this how these arches were built? Not surprisingly, this representation is almost identical to another monstrous megalithic site, the Stonehenge in England. This painting is the oldest depiction of the Stonehenge and it clearly shows a giant lifting and placing huge stone blocks. Are these paintings and carvings just coincidences or did a race of giants once exist around the world who built these extraordinary structures? Forget about human beings building these gigantic structures. History shows that human beings could not even destroy these arches. In 1310, 
a military commander of King Alauddin Khalji, attempted to destroy these arches. While he was able to destroy the rest of the structures, the four arches have remained intact. You can see the evidence of his failed attempts here. He gave up realizing that these arches were simply too big to destroy using human hands. If these structures are too big to be destroyed by human beings, is it also possible that they are too big to be built by human beings? Now, whether these arches were built by giants or by human beings, one thing is clear. These are not just simple entrances. They were also used for some other advanced scientific purposes. But to understand that, we would need to look at the sun. I will talk about this in my next video. Please share this video with your friends. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell button to get all the updates. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you soon. Bye.